in setting up a website for Irish fans of the controversial US leader, Sarah Louise Mulligan. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you Hello. for having me. Now, you may not be a household name <clears> yet, but, but, but Irish viewers will have seen you in probably a lot of things. What, what have you done? Yes, I've actually appeared naked in a lot of TV shows. Well, I, I, you, what? I've only appeared naked in one, and it's this one. <laughs> so what have you, you've been in a lot of the biggest TV shows, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, Camelot, Game of Thrones, Tudors, Ripper Street, Penny Dreadful was the last one I did, actually. Wow. They're, they're, and they're huge. That, Killian Murphy's in, in that, isn't he? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, Killian Murphy, Rip, uh, Penny Dreadful. Yeah. No, 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 that's Josh Hartnett. That's Josh, Josh Hartnett. Josh Hartnett. Yeah, Josh Hartnett. Yeah. So um, it, how do you get into that line of work? Well, you know, I've always had a dream of being an, an actress. So yeah. obviously sometimes an actress has to take her clothes off. So I've been doing it for years. But I did get cast in Love, Hate as Lara, as a lap dancer. Right. So, um, yeah, I got a few lines. And I was also in Cardboard Gangsters, John Connor's movie. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm still acting. A, a lot of people, a lot of actresses, you know, Sarah Jessica Parker would be one, would kind of have no nudity clauses. They don't want to do, they don't want to do it and they have yeah. contracts. But for you, it's not an issue. No, I find it really liberating, to be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just proud to be in my body and why not show it off? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. they also, you ever... For those actresses that have those clauses, they bring in... People like you that are, uh, you know, uh, they'll shoot it in such a way that it makes it look like it's them, it was but them. it's someone else. Isn't that it? Or yeah. Body yeah. Do you ever do that kind of thing as well? Um, yeah, well, Billy Piper, like, I remember going for, like, a test shoot mm. and I don't think my body was similar to hers, so they didn't use me, right. you know. But, um, yeah, I, I think when you're a woman, you should be proud of your body and I, I don't understand why actresses have a problem with it, right. you know. Uh, when you do appear... With no clothes on on the telly, mm. right? Occasionally, you're doing what do really you, well, Ray. What? Thank you. <laughs> what, what, what do you? When you do the nudies on the tellies, uh, what do you, how do your family react? What do they they say when they see you? Oh, that's your bum. I say I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember putting pseudo cream on that bum. I changed yeah. that bum. <laughs> Um, well, obviously, it was probably a little bit difficult for my dad, you know, really? but he's gotten used to it now. And sure, when I did my test shoot for Playboy a few years ago. What? <laughs> what happened there? Yeah, no, he came with me now. He right, wasn't okay. there during the shoot, but he was very supportive, like, you know. Okay. Um, you, you're multi talented you, you sing as well as, as your acting work. You're, you're singing as well, yeah? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm singing with an Elvis Presley tribute band at the moment, but I'm also a Marilyn Monroe impersonator, yeah. so I'm working on my own one woman show, so I'm really. Wow, that's there, you Marilyn. look really. That's great. You look oh, really like her. Oh, you. thank you. <laughs> so, you want to sing for the US President, Donald Trump. Do yeah. you want to do this because you're so into Marilyn Monroe and she sang for JFK, or do you just really like him? I, it's a mixture of both. Yeah, I've always had a fascination with Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Like, she would be an idol of mine. But I genuinely really like Donald Trump, and I think the Irish need to give him a chance. And I like him so much that I even set up my own website. Uh, a, a lot of people, you've appeared on radio um, saying that you support him and that you're a fan of his, yeah. uh, and you got quite a negative reaction to to that position. Um, has that affected you in any way? Or? No, not at all. Really? I, I was expecting a backlash, you know. But I have to say, I'm very, very grateful to Radio Nova, you know, for giving me that platform because no other media would give me a chance to speak positively about Donald Trump. So I was delighted to be given a chance. Uh, tell me about uh, your, your position, uh, well, as, as a woman, first of all, and the things he said about women and mm -hmm. the things he said about immigrants, the, the whole building the wall thing. There seems to be every day he's, he's saying something mad or th that most of us would feel yeah. is, is a bit mad. What do you yourself think when you see him saying, like, for instance, saying something bad or negative about women? Do you not think to yourself, well, as a woman myself, that kind of, that affects me? Well, I'm going to be really honest with you, Ray. When I'm out with all the girls, you know, we all go wild. I'm... We talk about the male's anatomy and, you know, the filth and the dirt that comes out of our mouths. But, you know, we're not being, we're not recording one another. So mm. at the end of the day, I don't take any offence whatsoever to his pussy comment. And, you know, um, 
They're like, did she? Did someone, she? Someone, yeah. someone, someone, Kevin Dungeon just gasped. Okay. <laughs> he did. Just, yeah. He did. Yeah. Just yeah. Gasp. <laughs> in, fairness, he, he, in fairness, he's got cats. So he's, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I actually it. called my pussy. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, no, 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 we don't need to go no, there. No, leave it there. no but, my pussy cat. Yeah, yeah. She's called um, Henry Kissinger Trump. R after the, the Henry US Kissinger presidents. as well. You're Henry Kissinger Trump is the name of my I suppose what people would say, though, is you and the girls on a night out on the beer are not being recorded because you're just regular people out having mm. a good time he's you know at the time he was the the he was the candidate yeah to should be he not be held to a higher do standard not, do you not feel that well come on ray when you were young in your day before well, he, you wasn't got married. he wasn't young now <laughs> in your he, day. Was, he was in his 60s <laughs> i know and he felt it was okay to talk like this you know do you not kind of go that's super creepy what this man in his 60s could be saying about you if you were in front of him like treating you like a piece of meat I honestly believe he was just being Jack the Lad. Right. I'm a tomboy. I hang around with boys all the time. And I hear how they speak about women. And I don't take offence to it. Right. But, I mean, it's up to you. Mm. I, don't, I think it's hilarious, to be honest. Um, I don't think he's the type of man to, you know, sexually abuse any woman or anything like that. I don't think he dropped the hands on anybody. Mm. And but he has been accused of it. He, and he has is going been. To, yeah, and yeah. he's going to, he might get impeached over yeah. the that fact basis, that, he, yeah. that he has actually done um, this. But nothing has gone to court. You know, you cannot say, you cannot label a human being until it's gone through the court system. You know, you can't label somebody. It's unfair. What, 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 so you're saying that the women are lying or...? or? Innocent until proven guilty. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. So right. That's what I believe. You're setting up a website for Irish fans of Donald Trump. Do you think yeah, there are indeed. many people in Ireland that would be um, inclined to sign up? Definitely. Really? Oh, my God. Like, I swear to God... I've had so many private Facebook messages saying they love Donald Trump, but really? they're too frightened to speak positively about him at the dinner table because they're afraid. He, does he need Irish people to love him in all fairness? He's not our president. Well, you see, it's very important to keep the connection and the communication good with Ireland and America because yeah. we have to think about all the Irish, you know, immigrants, undocumented Irish people living there. Yeah. So it's... You know, it's important for me to set this website up because I'm actually going to emigrate as well. So I don't want Donald Trump thinking all the Irish hate him. Because are, you, are, are you thinking of emigrating to America? Yes. W will you get in? Of course yeah. I will. <laughs> when Donald Trump sees this, you know, right. he sees that I'm setting up a website for him. That you're supporting Well, he can't kind of treat you differently than he would everyone else. And he doesn't like immigrants. Do you know what I mean? Like, he, he has to have a position. Just because you've set up a website, you can't beat that girl set up a website. I'll let her in. Well, grand. you have to understand as well that Ireland helped to build America. So we have to keep the communication and we have to start speaking positively about the man. He is the president for the next four years. So there's no point in being negative about it. Give the man a chance. That's all I'm asking the Irish people to do. Mm. But I'm telling you here and now, there is a silent majority of Irish and American who love him. At the end of the day, he got voted in. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it's probably not a sign uh, of majority we'll, uh, that love him in uh, Ireland. Probably we'll, not a majority. Okay, people Maren, probably we'll, do. So we'll wish we'll you luck with your time. website. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, uh, Irish, tr Irish who love uh, Irish who love President Trump dot com. That's it. Right. There we go. <laughs> uh, and good luck with the site, and good luck with uh, your travels to America. Thank Best you so luck. much. Cheers. Thanks very much. Uh, Jonathan McRae, the TV show is on this weekend. Yes, Sunday, seven pm on B three. B three. Set your recorder now. And Please. You, you're, you'll be setting your DeLorean to 80, <laughs> 88 miles per hour. 88 well, miles per hour. Beside you now, someone who's got, who might have time to do this, because you're not only, re Owen, you're not only retired from hurling with Kilkenny, you retired from the army as well. Yeah. Like a few months army. later. Yeah. Is that a bit, you did two big life decisions in the one year. Yeah, in the, one, in the space of a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I felt it was time for a change, you know, when I was finished hurling. I suppose going abroad was really hard, you know. Yeah. I have a young family and that was, I was in Syria last year, so when I came back then it was just, I had enough of it. It must have been very, it was tough. Yeah, it was very tough. And seeing what was yeah. happening there. Yeah, and then you're missing your family as well, so. Yeah. I'd have to go again three or four times. So it was just like, that's so. it, I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm done.
That's not how Jonathan McRae feels. He'll be off again this summer now for three months as well, leaving the family behind shooting again, will you? I don't think well, he's on all to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, got, I got a pass. I don't think I'm going to get it again. Oh, it. just the one. Just fairness. close the borders. <laughs> <laughs> like so There's a wall gone up. Built the wall around your gap. That's <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> what's up, happening. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a wrap from us tonight. But Samantha Mumba, she will be here on Monday hosting alongside cool. Martin King, and they'll be chatting to 10 time winning all, our, all Ireland star footballer Cora Staunton, along with Northern Irish broadcaster. Jerry Kelly, I tried and I knew I wasn't. You did your this. best. A big thank you to our guests, Jonathan McRae, to Owen Martin, Sarah Louise Mulligan, Paddy Smith from earlier, and Kevin Dundon in the kitchen. We'll be back here next Friday night. Until then, have yourself a great evening and a great weekend. Bye 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 b